hello everyone so in this video i'm going to tell you about the care plan on anemia okay so first you'll have to mention the baseline data that is the identification data so name the type of family they are the religion the language they know the main occupation and the total family income so in this is the community this is for community health nursing okay in case of medical surgical nursing or other ncps you'll have to mention the date of admission then what what is the diagnosis okay when you did the assessment the bed number the hospital name okay everything should come then comes the family profile then you'll have to draw the family genogram okay so i have mentioned here you all can go through this then you'll have to mention the housing condition how the house is okay then comes the floor map of the house so you'll have to draw the floor map of the house then comes the socio economic status then you'll have to draw the sociogram so how the client's relationship is with the family member then you'll have to mention the family history then the family health beliefs psycho spiritual environment family roles now these three these three things you can mention you cannot mention okay then comes the personal history then past medical history so you all you'll have to mention from when the patient is having the disease condition okay and for that what treatment they are on then comes the past surgical history then present medical history so now whether the condition has been improved or deteriorating and then now what medications they are on okay and what are the symptoms they are suffering from that will come then comes the present surgical history and then nutritional history that what they have consumed in their diet then you will have to do the physical examination in that you will have to mention the general appearance also you will have to remove the bmi then comes the vital signs okay in vital signs you all can mention the hemoglobin level then you all have to do the head to foot assessment so in that hair eyes then ears nose and sinuses mouth and pharynx neck chest heart abdomen okay i have mentioned very nicely you all can go through this the next extremities back and spine and genital then the reflexes now uh, before writing the nursing diagnosis also you all have to mention the investigations okay if you are writing any other for any other subject like medical you will have to mention the investigation that will be on their case papers okay then you will have to write the nursing diagnosis based on the problems that you identified in the patient you will have to frame nursing diagnosis okay so for anemia we have written imbalanced nutrition then fatigue okay then comes the like so related to anemia that will come related to decreased hemoglobin and diminished oxygen carrying capacity okay then will come activity intolerance related to generalized weakness and the knowledge deficit now this three risk which i have mentioned these are related to the family members okay so you i have mentioned see family what the risk they on related to that it will come okay next here i have mentioned the uh, nursing care plan okay so this is very nicely mentioned you all can go through this okay first is for imbalanced nutrition second fatigue related to decreased hemoglobin okay then comes the risk for malaria now in community health nursing you all have to mention the health education that you all have given to their family members or the patient depending on their condition okay so you all see the health education was given anemia okay so you all can go through this general objective specific objectives okay so if you all want to take health for the health of you all can just copy this okay so first meaning we have explained then clinical manifestations what are the signs and symptoms then comes the causes of anemia then what the diet they have to take for anemia and last is summary okay so this everything you all have to mention then comes the bibliography so i have mentioned here three bibliography the same you all can copy okay. thank you